Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the stick. Anytime you want to take your hair down, all of a sudden it's like looking cute. It's like, oh wait, you look so cute. I don't want to take him out. Feel I'm in the mood for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up. They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. They want to knock me down, but hey guys, welcome to this video. It's Blake, and today I'm doing some more color. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so today I just took out my passion twist and that was a very cute hairstyle. If you haven't seen the tutorial, I'll link it up. You can go watch it. Just took those out, detangled my hair as I was taking them out. And then I went ahead and shampooed my hair with a clarifying shampoo. I used Verb clarifying shampoo and from what I read, um, you know, you just need your hair like super clean when you're doing semi-permanent, which I never really paid attention to, but since I'm going to a different color, I wanna make sure everything is covered. Now we're here and my hair is shampooed and clean and I'm ready to apply my color. If you, if, if you don't know already, I'm going black, jet black, jet black. I am doing black. I have decided to uh, go back darker but I'm gonna do a little pizzazz because I just can't I'm not ready to give the color up but at the same time I really want like a, a dark hair again like every time I see a picture of myself with all one color like um before I color my hair it's like it looks so good and I want it again um but I don't but I am not I still want the color like I really just like the color um so I'm gonna do some like peekaboo color uh that's a little pizzazz today I'm just gonna be using Kiss Color Semi Permanent Jet Black. It's a level one and it's base neutral. So I don't want my hair, my hair is orange. It's a warm color and um, I didn't want to get a cool tone because then that would make it, a, I feel like it would make it kind of money, but since it's black, you probably wouldn't be able to tell. Just in case I got neutral. So I'm mixing a neutral with my warm tone hair and not a cool with my warm tone hair. You don't want to mix warm and cool neutral and cool or neutral and warm i think i just decided though that i wouldn't um I, i'm not gonna bleach the parts that i'm gonna leave as a color so actually i should choose what color i want because then i could go ahead and put it on at the same time right because at first i thought i was gonna go i was gonna bleach my ends but i'm not going to i'm gonna leave my roots for the time being and if i like the peekaboo color then i'll go back later on and do like a fresh color so let's pick the color i have some to choose from actually this is my basket for hair color and bleaching i have now a little collection i have a whole bunch of toners and some blonde permanent color conditioner so i have this super red manic panic that i have just been waiting to use i haven't used it yet it's pretty deep this is rock and roll red that's a deep red which with the black would look really good um, I also have Rich Amber that looks like this by Adore. I have Paprika. I've done this color before in the last coloring video I did. I have Sienna Brown. And I also have Ruby Red. So, I was originally going to do a brown first. I'm really not sure. Should I do red? And my ha my hair color has now pretty much faded all out, and this is just what's left underneath. My I bleached my hair in January, and I've put like oranges and reds on, so it's kind of stained to this color, which is actually very copper, very ginger now. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. So I don't know. Like I would do Sienna Brown, but I don't want it. If I'm gonna do brown, I don't want it to be too dark. What color should I do? A red, an orange, or the brown? And the pickaboo? Yeah. Yeah. I can always go brown, so I guess I'll start with red. Yeah. I know I don't want orange because I already have orange. Right, because that's just what I did. Ruby red it is. I'm ready to start. I'm going to get to parting out my hair. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to be doing two like peekaboo colors on the sides. So I know for a fact all of the back and all of yeah since i just came out of a protective style i have like really clean parts so i'm gonna use that to my advantage and i know that 
this back section is actually pretty even so then i normally do my hair like if i'm doing a side part it's about like this Norm yeah it's about like this so this is gonna be one side sometimes i do middle parts but i'm just gonna do it to my side part and yeah whatever happens happens so this is gonna be one side let me get my so on this side i've kind of done some damage from those few protective styles i did every time i do a ponytail it ends up hanging to this side and i kind of broke some of my hair off right there so i'm going to put this to the side thinking i'm gonna do something in this area i'm like not 100 percent sure <laughs> so i'm just gonna focus for a second so i don't take a whole bunch of time okay and yeah i've sectioned off the pieces that i want i got this section and i braided it that's gonna be red it's like a little square and then on this side i'm gonna do this section here so you'll see it kind of from the front on this side but then not so much on this side yeah push come and shove um I do everything black, so there's really no way to lose. Started, I'm just gonna be taking each twist and twisting it and putting the color on, and you have to be gonna be very generous with the color. I bought six of these bottles, so hopefully that's enough. Hopefully I have enough, because sometimes my head, I, actually I should have enough since I'm not doing all of it black, so. So I got the back done and I'm about to uh, start on the front and I'm getting my red color ready. The number one reason I decided to go back to a dark color is one, after I bleached my hair, you, I think I talked about this before, but I'm putting the ruby red adore in, but after I bleached my hair, uh, I realized I didn't like blonde. Like I had always been, I've been dreaming of like a brown blonde color and then i ended up not liking it <laughs> i did, i thought i wanted something lighter than my skin tone but i didn't i like a little bit more contrast so i learned that i really did like when i had it red deeper oranges you know that so every time i faded i was ready to do something you know color it again because i didn't want it blonde and so this time my hair has been fading so it was about time to recolor it this one's kind of like see-through and you guys know I've been doing more protective styles and sometimes getting the color match for a protective style is hard because you can just color your hair and then like it'll match but then you wash your hair and now it doesn't match because the color has faded a little bit. That was frustrating. Um, not frustrating but it's just kind of like you just have a little less options. So I would say if you are coloring your hair you should have like intentions of only wearing your hair which in the beginning I did. Uh, but now I'm not so I wanted I knew I wanted to go back dark and I was thinking of like a brown I knew I didn't want to do like an orange ginger color anymore I was thinking of a red because I accidentally got red one time and I was like "Ooh, this is kind of nice um well looking back I was like I felt really cool when it was like red yeah and then I was just considering new colors and I was like asking you know this is this and black was just kind of like calling my name again and I, it would make it easier to do hair and I had been wanting to do like my clip-ins again so that would be easier and so it was just kind of like yeah you should so originally I was like I'm just gonna go all the way black but then I got sad that I wouldn't have color anymore and so that's what um how I came up with doing like some like kind of peekaboo color and that's how I'm here today uh, I'm not really 100% done with color and I know like normally when you go back black it's probably because you're, you don't want your hair to be damaged or it's looking damaged but for the most part you know I've been pretty fine uh, another main reason though is with my lighter hair I did not like it as much light because it didn't look as full and I would like go back and look at like my old pictures of my black hair and I'm like my hair cannot look like that anymore but it's really just how dark hair plays and dark hair seems bigger than lighter things um, just darker colors seem take up 
appear to take up more space than lighter colors and my hair like I was like my afros just don't afro like they used to um, but my hair is like the same thickness you know like so it was mainly that so I was excited to like I that's why I was like I need something just a little bit darker but I wasn't sure about black but I knew I was I was 100% going even darker because I wanted my hair to look fuller again so as I'm putting on the black it's like for somehow I can see how much my hair has grown like this whole time I'm like I don't even know if my hair is growing but I know it's growing because my roots are coming in and like it appears to be growing but it oh wait I shouldn't do that but it like looks long now so I'm gonna start applying the red and I don't really have to put it on my roots. I guess I'm gonna put it on my roots. It might do something. I'm not really sure. But it's not that big a deal because my roots are dark. So I have been really liking the color. But I would say, yeah, the only, I would say the only thing, like advice I have for color is like have intentions of wearing your own hair because color matching it, things, it costs, you know, it takes more time, costs more money. Like if you do like bundles or something like that, then you have to dye the hair. That's more time and money. Like, so you just have to be aware of like that, especially if you don't want like a common color that it might not be offered and you will have to do something custom. I felt good with the color, but also I have a feeling like, I know I colored my hair because it's also, it's been almost a year of coloring my hair and the first since the first time I did it I gave myself highlights in July for my birthday last year and um I know like I was doing like a lot of hair stuff and brand work and it felt like I couldn't really express myself how I wanted like I didn't have a lot of time to do things to express myself not as much as I do now and then like I couldn't do everything I wanted with my hair so I was kind of rebelling in a way and I was like I'm gonna color my hair and so now I think I'm kind of getting out of that and it's kind of like toning down and now I can I don't have to use my hair as like kind of an expressor anymore yeah also you can see how much my curl powder has changed since um color I bleached it once and it's a little bit looser it's also a little bit longer but I can tell it's a little bit looser because I can see that my roots are tighter again so that's kind of exciting like eventually my hair will get tighter again as I like cut the ends off and it grows out it'll go back to how it used to be um but yeah I never really had that many problems with like keeping moisture but I do try to take the best care of my best care of my hair so as long as you take care of your hair you won't have any problems a lot of people have problems because they didn't you know you put the work in and you have to put the work in hopefully this doesn't look too like like red and black like gothy which mm, that can be cute too but it's not like summer vibes though but uh, I thought it was kind of funny like I wanted to go dark right at the beginning of the summer um, but I st I'll have, still have time to change it. Like maybe by the time my birthday comes, I might have some highlights or something. I don't know. I would say this is probably going to be my most drastic change. I've never done two colors. This is edgy. Pretty edgy for me. But I like edgy. I like to like have my style but like keep it edgy, you know. But this is like just straight edgy. I think it's all in there. Everything looks pretty coated. I'm excited to see how this is gonna turn out because it's like super red. It's kind of like a strawberry red. Thankfully, I'm keeping my roots up. Any black does get there, like on the root area, it'll be okay. Oh, I could put some foil on it or something, but too late now. I do have some over there though. Wait, I think I, I'll put some foil on. Pretty much all that I have to say about color. Definitely, I feel like coloring your hair is kind of just like a rite of passage in your life. Like. If you've ever wanted to do it you probably will and you'll learn if you can keep it or not i would say i probably i won't have i don't think i'll have colored hair for the rest you know for a long time i think it'll be a phase for me <laughs> actually though i feel like i would do a rinse of like black jet black but i don't know i was really happy with my natural color, hair color my natural hair color was um, a 1B. It was very dark. It wasn't really that dusty or anything where I would need a rinse or anything. 
All right, here we go. I'm glad I was able to do both colors at the same time because originally I thought I was gonna bleach, but I decided that wasn't a good idea because what if I didn't like it? So now I won't have to wash my hair and then do this all over again because... Okay, last sections of black in the front. working with I knew this was gonna happen I watched some videos and like semi-permanent just didn't take to the lighter hair and um, yeah so I kind of knew I was hoping it wouldn't happen I was like maybe if I clarify my hair good enough it wasn't but for some reason but it, it did so I was kind of prepared for that but I want to know why this part maybe because it's still pretty new um but yeah all in here now it's just kind of like brown so i don't know if if i do it again is that gonna help but i do know something it like needs to be fixed because this isn't cute so i think i'm just gonna go over everything again separate these red bits and go over everything again mainly the front because uh, I don't even uh, uh, I'm tired of doing my hair but um, yeah I'm getting tired and I'm so hungry so if I'm stopped filming that's that but yeah hey so it's been a few days uh, I think the last time I was filming was Friday and I showed y'all that the color didn't take. Well, I had somewhere to go on Saturday, so I had to like make something work. So I ended up doing a wash and go with clip-ins and I just um, sprayed my hair with a hair color spray like for to cover up ball spots. And I just did that on like the part and it worked for the weekend. So today's uh, Tuesday and I'm ready to fix my hair. I went to go get some products. I went to Armstrong, McCall is like a professional beauty supply and you have to have a license. Didn't know I could have been going there. I have a manicuring license, but I didn't know I could go there because it's mostly hair products, but they did have some manicuring stuff. So I picked up Joyco Lumishine uh, Permanent Color in one end. It's a neutral black, so it's about the same color as the, I used the neutral black and um yeah it's a level one so it should be the same color that's already on the ends because i'm not sure if i'm gonna put it on my ends the ends took pretty nicely so i'm not sure but i'm thinking i should just do it let me show you guys what my hair looks like because it looks kind of a mess so you don't see it right here because the color is still on there but if i take it down see if you can see it in the back probably not I don't know if you can see that but yeah so I'm just gonna fix that and I'm thinking I might make the red brown I wasn't sure how I was feeling about the red honestly with the with the jet black and red I'm not sure if that was the vibe that I wanted yeah so I'm gonna put this permanent color on I didn't want to have to because I wanted the option to change my hair but gotta do what I gotta do and I'll just keep you know these two color sections and hopefully I can live my color th dreams through these so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and get it to it part my hair off and slather it on because I'm I'm so ready to be done all right so I think I'm gonna switch this totally up I'm going to keep this section um separated and I'm gonna recolor it I think I don't really think I like the red with the black. So I think I'm gonna, I don't know, we're gonna see. This is gonna be my pop of color and then the rest I'm gonna do black. So I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna uh, dye this black too. Having two sections was just gonna be like a little bit too much. One side is cute. Keep this section off and I'm going to color this at the very end apply the black rinse the black out and then do this so the black doesn't uh mess it up or anything All right, 
got all my color applied. I went ahead and I was impatient and put some on here. Hopefully, I don't think it's gonna lift the like my hair shaft, but I'm just gonna try it out because I just did the high color highlights, but I'm not sure if permanent color lifts color. Not exactly sure. If not, I, I probably go in with some lightener. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, just got black all around and golden blonde right here. Gonna rinse out in about 10 to 20 minutes. So. Just finished rinsing my hair and this is the black. It looks so good. I really tried it with that semi-permanent. <laughs> I watched so many videos um, of people going from like a brown, you know, like lifted hair color that was brown, not blonde, but brown to black and they like almost everybody tried a semi and then it didn't work so they had to do permanent so i knew the semi wasn't going to be work but i kind of thought i'd be a little bit different i'm glad that i was able to correct it because if that didn't work i was gonna be like so frustrated but it looks so good i want to say this color looks way better than that kiss color which makes sense because it's permanent and it's, it was a professional color which i feel like i can tell a difference that i use a professional color like my hair looks way more shinier with this black um i want to say the other one was just like a little ashy but again it's probably because it's permanent and it actually got in my hair strands whereas the other one was semi and it just didn't take all the way so it was kind of ashy but yeah it looks really good um as for this part i just wanted it to lift a little bit and i got my roots i didn't want to have to pull out the bleach uh if it had lifted all of it that would have been cool too but i just got it to lift my roots but since this bottom part was colored it didn't but it got pretty much like my virgin hair and it got my roots so i'm going to i wanted like you know it all in color so i wanted it to it almost turned it red like it kind of just blends in a little bit if you can see but um, I don't think that I really like the red as much. I'm not sure. So I was thinking of going over with Sienna Brown, which is a reddish brown. I've used this color before the last time I made a hair coloring video, I think. So I was thinking of going over with this. Yeah, just like a little bit more brown color. This is like my dirty towel, but it's like that. And this is the color I put on, and this is Sienna Brown. So I'm going to do it. <laughs> have like a brown color instead of a red for some reason like the red and the black gives me a vibe that but I don't feel I'm not resonating with so I'm just gonna apply this and then finally shampoo and deep condition my hair since most of my hair is already like a lot of red I think it'll just tone the red down a little bit y'all this is what my hair is looking like right now i blow dried it and i just don't know how i want to style it yet so i'm just gonna wear it like this for right now i might end up styling it tomorrow doing something i didn't know if i wanted to do wand curls or a perm rod today like i just didn't know this is what my hair looks like this is gonna be the final thing for this video because i don't want it to keep going it's been so long but when i do style my hair that'll be in another video probably the next one after this so my hair is dyed, still attached to my head, and it feels good. After I had uh, rinsed the deep conditioner out, my hair felt amazing. Like it hadn't felt like that ever. It was like so, so soft. So I use this deep conditioner. I've talked about it before, but it's the Monos Hair Curl Restoring Treatment. I love it. It's really great uh, for my hair, and I can tell like there's about like this much of my this much of my hair that's like more of my natural curl pattern and then the rest of it is slightly looser so if you're wondering like did all the coloring do anything to my hair I didn't really notice it until recently now that my hair has been growing out um just a little bit like it's not you can barely barely tell I would say it went like one curl pattern looser really but still thick you know like I don't feel like it thinned out or anything uh just loosened up a little bit so yeah the color journey i think is going to be over i was kind of sad that i had to do permanent but i actually felt a little relieved knowing that this was permanent and it wasn't going to go anywhere like 
I will never have to color it again if I I think I won't I'm not sure since my hair is lighter underneath it might lighten a little bit but for the most part like I really won't have to color it again I think I think I'm not really sure but my hair is gonna grow out in natural hair color and I can just let it grow out and I won't have to do color it again it was fun but it's maintenance that I am not I'm ready to not do anymore and then for the time being I think I'll keep this little bit colored I don't know we'll see I might get I might be over it after a while so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one bye